Hey guys, it's Closener Weekly, and we're back here at Indiana Beach to get some evening and night rides. Um, the park is open until 11 today, so we're hoping to get some night rides. Uh, right now it's not really dark yet, but uh, we were walking by the new coaster and we noticed they haven't gotten any, um, they, they haven't really built anything new, but they did start painting the track blue. If you can see it, the track parts are blue now. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go in the park and I'll catch up then. Okay, so we're about to. Okay, so we're about to ride the log flume right now. There it is. Okay, so we just got off the log flume. As always, it was, it was, it was okay. Um, you don't really get wet, but it, the drop is pretty fun. And now we're gonna head over, or now we're heading over to Hoosier Hurricane. Okay, so we're heading over to Tigger right now. Um, hopefully it gets dark soon because we're hoping to get some good night rides. So we just got off Tigger and as always it was just okay, I guess. I'm never really the biggest fan of that ride, but it was kind of fun. Uh, and we're going to head over to Lost Coaster Superstition Mountain now. We got off Lost Coaster Superstition Mountain a little bit ago, and it was pretty fun. Uh, it's actually starting to get darker now, so hopefully we'll be able to get some cool night rides in the dark. Um, we're heading over to Cornwall Express right now. So we just got off of Cornball Express um, in the front row twice. So it's actually really interesting. Um, in the back row, you get different airtime, like you get different airtime and spots than in the front row. Like front row has its best airtime spots, and then back row has different airtime spots that are also really good. And uh, I think we're gonna head over to Steel Hog now. So we just got a steel hog and wow, it was running really good. It's probably just because it's like later in the day, so you know the track is warmed up and it was just like running really fast and <laughs> there was a lot of hang time as always and like there's a really good pop of air time right before you hit that um second brake run it was really fun yeah it, <laughs> and uh it got it got kind of darker now uh, i'm not sure what we're gonna hit next but hopefully it'll be a night ride okay so right now i'm basically just giving a park tour kind of of all these lights because at night you know like a typical boardwalk well, traditional boardwalk they got lights everywhere and it looks really nice there's fallen star um all the boardwalks are lighted up they got lights over there um but i just wanted to show how great this place looks with um lights and uh, i'll just walk around uh, without my voice Well, we're heading over to Hoosier Hurricane for a night ride, and uh, after that, I'm gonna get some some more uh, park tours of the lights. That's the most dangerous seat. We just got off Hoosier Hurricane two times a night, and wow, that was, sorry, the cornball's being loud, um, and that was really good. Uh, it's way faster, 
You, you, I actually got some air time, which you usually don't get air time on Hoosier Hurricane. And uh, it, it was just really good. So we're going to go get some more night rides. But uh, first, I think I'm going to get some footage of the light packages I have on some of these rides. did the log flim again because Gamer wanted to but I didn't really want to but uh, we did it anyway and it wasn't really too fun but it was okay it's interesting at night because you can't see anything in the tunnels but uh I think I think I'm gonna get some footage of the lights around the park
got off of um, Lost Coaster Superstition at night. It was running insanely fast. There was like insane air time. I forgot about all the lights and effects they have on that ride at night. It was just insane. And uh, we're about to, oh, that just got a spider web in my face. Oh, sorry about that. Um, we're about to finish off the night with Cornball Express because it's gonna be running crazy at night. A dream echo through the halls with candles flicker and the rats are still hell. This is the time when the doctor is present, waiting for you with me <laughs> okay. We just got off of Cornball Express at night at like like 11:40. And oh my gosh, it was running so fast. It's been running all day. Track's been warming up. It was going so fast. There's so much air time. Like I got air time in places that I haven't gotten before. Um, all I can say is that that was insane, and, um, we're leaving the park right now. We had a really good day, um, and I'll see you guys next time on Coaching Air Weekly.